Welcome back to the channel. Today we are making some vitamin C serum. And today's video is a little bit different because I'm actually going to be giving away the products that I make today. I only have three to give away and all the information for the giveaway will be down in the description box. So check that out. I'm going to be making a total of 100 grams, so a 100 gram batch, and I'm going to start with phase A. And I'm using the larger beaker for phase A. I'm going to begin by adding in the glycerin. This is a humectant, so it'll help hydrate the skin. And this will also help hydrate the hyaluronic acid, so it actually will dissolve easier in the formulation. The next step is hyaluronic acid, and I'm going to be using a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid because the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid actually creates this lovely gel consistency that I think is perfect for serums. So you can use a lower molecular weight hyaluronic acid and it actually penetrates the skin more, but you won't get that thick jelly serum-like consistency. So just keep that in mind if you decide to use a low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Set that to the side. And now let's work on phase B. I'm gonna start with the distilled water. So next it's time to add in our vitamin C, and this is actually a vitamin C derivative. It's called 3-glycerol ascorbate, and the reason why I'm using a vitamin C derivative instead of ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C powder, is because ascorbic acid isn't a very easy ingredient to work with. It actually destabilizes very, very easily, and you have to have a specific formulation in order for it to be stable. You can't just dissolve it in water and expect it to work. There's a lot more that goes into it than that. You don't really know if you're actually getting the benefits of the vitamin C from it. So if you do make a product with ascorbic acid, you're going to want to send it out to the lab to make sure it's lab tested, especially since vitamin C is such an expensive ingredient. You're going to be charging your customers a lot for something that you don't really know if it's working or not. So that's why I recommend using a vitamin C derivative instead. So let's just talk about vitamin C for a minute in case you don't know like how amazing it really is. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it helps protect your skin from free radicals. Also, it helps boost the production of collagen. So vitamin C is literally an ingredient that everyone should be using. Doesn't matter if you're still young, vitamin C is an amazing ingredient that I highly recommend adding into your skincare routine. So just to add in another antioxidant, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some green tea extract Green tea extract is great for really any skin type. Now I'm gonna add in some watermelon extract and watermelon extract is full of vitamins and antioxidants. It's great for mature skin, fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots. Love this extract and I think it'll just go perfect in this serum. Now for the preservative, I'm using Liquid Dermal Plus. I always use Liquid Dermal Plus and basically all my recipes because it's such an easy preservative to work with and I recommend it for all beginners. And a lot of beginners obviously watch my channel so that's why I always use it. But you can use whatever preservative you want as long as it's stable in the formulation. And if you don't know how to go about choosing what preservative to use, I have an entire video all about preservatives and I'll link it down below so you can learn everything you need to know about preservatives and how to choose which one is right for your formulation. Now we can take both our phase A and phase B, and you want to pour phase B into phase A. Now there might be clumps, that's because of the hyaluronic acid, it's totally normal. Just try to mix it up as best as you can, and then you're eventually just going to have to let it sit until the hyaluronic acid fully dissolves. This can take up to about 24 hours, but normally the smaller the batch you make, the quicker it'll dissolve. So I'm gonna wait for all this to dissolve and I'll be back. So a few things I wanna mention while that dissolves. Vitamin C is actually, like I mentioned, a very unstable ingredient. And simple things can actually destabilize it like oxygen and light. So it is best to put your product in some kind of container that's dark. And also just a little self promo, I actually do sell a vitamin C serum. It's not this exact recipe, but it's similar. It's called the Solar Vitamin C Serum and you can buy it in a half ounce bottle or a one ounce bottle. I'll link to the listing down in the description box if you guys wanna purchase it. But 
I will be giving away the vitamin C serums I make today. So if you want to enter the giveaway for a chance to win the vitamin C serums that I made in this video, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel, obviously, because this is for my subscribers. Comment below saying you want to be entered or just something about wanting to be entered. Or you can just comment in orange emoji if you want. And also make sure you pop over to my Instagram at Terrily Skincare. Follow me over there and leave a comment of the orange emoji on my most recent photo. The only regulations to enter is that you need to be over the age of 18. And um, the other regulation is that you need to be in the United States. And I'll be announcing the winners exactly two weeks after this video goes public. So you have two weeks to enter and I'll send you a message and then you can just send me your address and I'll get your vitamin C serum shipped out to you as soon as I can. So good luck to everybody and uh, yeah, comment your orange emojis over on Instagram. I'll also have all the information about the giveaway in the description box in case you just wanna read it. So now that the hyaluronic acid is fully dissolved, we have this gorgeous gel consistency. But before we bottle it up, we want to check and balance the pH. And if you guys don't know how to check the pH of your products and raise and lower the pH, go watch my video all about pH. I will link it down below because there's a lot to talk about and I can't cover it all in this video because there's not enough time. So on the formulating guidelines for this vitamin C derivative, you want a pH somewhere between two to five. I do think two or three is way too acidic for the skin personally. Um, so uh, I'm actually just gonna keep it where it's at. The natural pH is reading 4.18 and I think that's perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna leave it there. So now it's time to bottle everything up. And like I mentioned before, you wanna make sure you're using some kind of dark bottle because vitamin C is light sensitive. So keeping it in a dark bottle will produce better results for your vitamin C. Or you just wanna make sure you're storing it in like a dark cabinet. Um, that would help as well. Um, but you, you should always store your products in like a cool dark area anyways to help them last longer. So to use the serum, I definitely recommend applying it on damp skin. So after you wash your face while your skin is still damp, take like one to two pumps of the stuff, massage it between your fingers, and then massage it on your face while your skin is still damp because that will actually help the serum absorb in your skin quicker because hyaluronic acid and glycerin draws from moisture in the air. So having moisture on your skin will actually help better absorb these ingredients. So that's always what I recommend doing when using a hyaluronic acid based serum. You'll have better results that way. So now it's time for the labels. And these are a little different than the labels I use for the products I sell in my Etsy shop. These are full wraparound labels. The labels on my Etsy shop are actually only like, I'll just show you. I have one label on this side, one on this side, and then all the ingredients are listed on the back of the box. But for the giveaway, Everything is actually just right on the bottle, the directions, ingredients. And as you can see, the text is different as well. I just wanted to make them different looking than the labels I use on the products I sell. And there it is, the finished vitamin C serum. So again, if you wanna enter the giveaway, check out the description box for all the rules, regulations, and uh, when I'll be announcing the winner. All the ingredients I use in this video, all the equipment, how to use this product, just all the information will be down in the description box, so check that out. And also over on Patreon, I'll have a blog post that goes right along with this video. On Patreon, I always post blogs that go along with the videos I do over here, and I post two exclusive videos over there every month, so check out my Patreon if you want. You can always cancel your membership if you don't enjoy it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know if you guys like this whole me making something and then giving it away kind of concept and I'll do it more often. Thank you guys so much for all your support. You mean a lot to me and I'll talk to you guys next time, later.